Hello, lightsaber enthusiasts. Today, I'll give you a quick introduction to the most essential features of the SaberTech Configurator, a remarkable tool that allows you to personalize your Golden Harvest equipped lightsaber with ease. Before you begin, ensure you've already downloaded and installed the SaberTech Configurator. If you haven't done so, please find the download link in the description. Begin by double clicking on the installer file. This will prompt the installation dialog to appear which will guide you through the process. After the installation is finished, you can run the app. After a few seconds, the app's primary window will appear, showcasing two primary buttons. If you're just looking to explore the app without implementing any changes, choose the I'm just here to play option. For direct customization of your Sabre, connect it to the computer using a USB cable if it has a built-in USB port that allows for file transfer. If the USB option isn't available, remove the SD card from your Sabre. To insert the SD card into your computer, you may need to use a USB to SD card adapter. Once inserted, click on select drive of your Sabre and navigate to its drive. Upon choosing your Sabre's drive, the app will retrieve all the configuration files. A brief loading period may be required, so be patient. The SaberTech Configurator is designed with user-friendliness in mind. You'll notice a real-time preview animation showcasing the look of your blade, ensuring you grasp the visual impact of your changes immediately. If your Sabre is equipped with accent LEDs, they will also be displayed. Beside the animation, buttons are available to trigger various Sabre actions, such as ignition, clash, stab, blaster block, and retraction. The interface of the SaberTech configurator is divided into distinct tabs for various functionalities. Let's briefly discuss what they are used for. General settings. Here, you can tweak fundamental Sabre configurations, such as button count. Blade styles. This tab is where your creative juices can flow. It is used to manage the effect libraries on your Sabre. Modify already available presets to match your vision, create entirely new ones or explore the online effect library containing blade styles that were shared by the community and download them to your Sabre. The versatility here ensures your blade is as unique as you envision. Accent Styles Want to spruce up your Sabre's accent LEDs? Head to this section. It's designed to let you customize the behavior and look of your accent LEDs, providing that added touch of uniqueness. Sound Fonts In this section, you can add or remove sound fonts. Link specific blade and accent styles with each sound font. Meaning, every time you switch a sound font, your blade's appearance adjusts accordingly, immersing you in a cohesive lightsaber experience. For most users, this is the most important tab as it has direct impact on the appearance of your saber. Firmware Update This is more on the technical side, enabling you to update your firmware, refresh the SD card, or even revert it to factory settings. Common to most tabs, in the upper right corner, you'll find a save button to finalize your adjustments and a revert button to cancel all recent tweaks and load the Sabre's original configuration. For this walkthrough, our spotlight is on the Sound Fonts tab, packed with the most essential features. A sound font is essentially a unique collection of audio files that dictate the auditory character of your Sabre. From the resonance of the blade's ignition, its steady hum during use, to its retraction sound, and even the unique noises it emits during clashes or deflecting blaster shots, each sound font offers a distinct ambience. The sound font drop-down menu you see at the top displays all the sound fonts stored on your Sabre's SD card. The sound font that is selected when starting the SaberTech configurator is the one currently active, this means it's the very sound font that will greet you upon booting up your Sabre. Next to this drop-down menu, you'll notice arrow buttons pointing left and right. These handy controls allow you to conveniently browse through the sound fonts, 
letting you quickly navigate to the previous or the next sound font without having to open the drop-down list. This feature, aimed at enhancing user experience, is present for most drop-down menus within the configurator's interface. Let me briefly demonstrate the sound font selection. Additionally, you'll find buttons to add or delete sound fonts. Clicking on the Add button opens a File Explorer dialog, prompting you to select the .zip file of the sound font you wish to add. You don't need to fret over the file naming, the configurator takes care of that, automatically renaming all files to align with the Golden Harvest naming scheme. This ensures compatibility and a hassle-free addition to your Sabre's sound collection. Conversely, the Delete button allows you to remove a selected sound font, offering flexibility in tailoring your Sabre's auditory palette. As you proceed, you'll encounter more customization options through various drop-down menus. It's important to note that the selections you make within these drop-down menus are intrinsically linked to the selected sound font, with different sound fonts often paired with unique light effects. Thus, Changing the sound font will automatically load its specific configurations. If you make any changes to the pairing between sound fonts and light effects, remember to click on the Save button if you want to keep them. The Blade Style drop-down menu pertains to the distinct light patterns and effects of your Sabre's blade. The Blade Style can determine if the blade pulsates, flickers, or even emulates the effect of flowing water. It's the fundamental light behavior of your blade, setting the mood and tone for your entire Sabre experience. Next is the color profile. As the name implies, this determines your blade's color. From the iconic blue and green to the more exotic hues, the choice is yours. The On Top Effect menu introduces an added layer of visual dynamism to your blade style, giving you the tools to further refine and enhance the blade's appearance with supplementary effects. The Standby Accent Style and Ignited Accent Style menus are dedicated to the Sabre's decorative accent LEDs. Depending on whether the blade is off, standby, or on, ignited, these styles determine the behavior of these ornamental LEDs, which could be integrated into parts like the Sabre's buttons. Each of these drop-down menus brims with a plethora of presets, underscoring the extensive customization possibilities at your fingertips. The options you see chosen by default are the configurations tethered to the selected sound font. But don't let that limit you. Experiment, mix and match, and align different presets with your preferred sound font, molding the Sabre experience to your individual taste. Before we proceed, we will consider an example of the pairing between sound fonts and light effects. Assume, we want to link new light effects to sound font 1. Let's choose a slightly flickering blade style with green color. Also, let's add an on top effect to the blade style. For the standby accent style we will choose a preset with the default sequence and for the ignited accent style, we will choose one with constantly lit accent LEDs. Now, let's save that. For sound font 2, we will select a flame blade as an example. Done, we will also save this pairing. As you can see, when switching between sound font 1 and sound font 2, the pairing will automatically load it. Below the ignited accent style drop down menu, you'll spot three buttons labeled pre on. Post off and tracks clicking on any of these unveils a new window, guiding you through sound file selections. 
you can either utilize the Sabre's inbuilt standard sound files or opt for those unique to the selected sound font if they're available within the sound font. Inside this window, the left-hand side presents a list of the standard sound files corresponding to the chosen type, prion, post-off, or tracks. To the right, there's a list containing sound files tailored to that type but are specific to the chosen sound font. If this right list happens to be empty, the sound font will default to using the standard sounds, provided there are any present. However, if there are sound font-specific sounds present, only those will be used by the sound font. Between these two lists, two arrow buttons one pointing left and the other right facilitate the copying of sound files between the lists. By pressing the right arrow, you can migrate a standard sound to the right list, effectively designating it as sound font-specific. Conversely, using the left arrow button allows you to transfer a sound font-specific sound to the left list, broadening its availability by making it a standard sound file for all other sound fonts. To preview any sound, click on its name and then press the play button located below both lists. Below these three buttons, there are more sections designed to give you detailed control over the Sabre's behavior. Smooth Swing Settings This section provides advanced controls that allow you to fine-tune the motion-sensitive sound creation. It's primarily intended for those with a deeper understanding of motion sound generation. Volume In this section, you won't set the absolute volume of the Sabre, as that can be adjusted in the general settings or on the fly. Instead, you can adjust the relative volume levels of both the user interface sounds and the effect sounds, such as clashes or blaster deflections, ensuring they blend seamlessly with the main sound font. Ignition and Retraction Time In this section, you have the capability to determine the ignition and retraction speeds of the Sabre by specifying the exact time duration needed for each process to complete. You can choose to synchronize these durations with their respective sounds or set them independently using a slider, allowing for precise adjustments in increments of 6 milliseconds. Let me briefly demonstrate this. Currently, the ignition time and the retraction time of sound font 1 are synchronized with the length of the sound files. Assume we want to speed the ignition and retraction up. We can do that by lowering the respective values of the sliders that will be displayed after choosing a custom ignition time and retraction time. Don't forget to click on the save button if you want to keep the changes. Side blades. For sabers equipped with side blades, this section allows you to set both the delay for their activation and the duration for their power-on sequence, ensuring synchronization or a distinct lighting sequence, as per your preference. With this we conclude the walkthrough of the sound font tab, but it is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to personalizing your Saber experience. If you're eager to delve deeper and explore more customization avenues, we recommend checking out our additional tutorials. Happy customizing, and may your saber be a true reflection of your individuality.